from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, 19 more documents, hundreds of pages long, have been revealed today in conjunction with sex offender Jeffrey Epstein and his associates. It's the second batch of documents to be made public related to court proceedings against his then partner, Ghislaine Maxwell. CNN's Jean Casares says the information shows a detective laying out the process Epstein and Maxwell used to recruit young girls. So then the question was asked of him, how many would you say were recruited? His response, 30 30, maybe 33. Wellington's Regional Council is asking the government for help to build a 3,000-hectare bird sanctuary. They want new Conservation Minister Tama Portaka to come look at the Wainuyamata site to get a glimpse of its potential. A Regional Council Chair Darren Ponta says it would boost the population of endangered nation, uh, native species and help Kiwi. He says the project's future relies on government support. I know it's a difficult time to be asking for this money. If the government doesn't step forward, the project just won't happen. Questions over why we're giving aid to foreign countries which can afford luxuries such as space programs. The Taxpayers Union says an OIA has revealed we gave Indonesia $25 million last year, while Pakistan got $3.5 million and India just over a million. Investigations coordinator Oliver Bryan says it shouldn't be the purpose of foreign aid to passively endorse those countries' spending. He says it seems like they're taking taxpayers for a ride, with the best part of $100 million in the past year going to countries with space programs. And a ban on sprinklers in South Wairarapa as the district tightens water restrictions. Ethan Manero reports. Gardeners in Featherston, Greytown and Martinborough will still be able to water their gardens by hand, but irrigation systems are a big no-no according to Wellington Water. South Wairarapa District Council Stephen Corbett says moving to level 2 restrictions now will reduce the risk of tougher restrictions later on. That's news, I'm Max Toll. In sport, top seed Coco Goff has powered her way into the semis of the ASB Tennis Classic in Auckland. The American demolishing French woman Vavara Gracheva 6-1-6-1 to win through to the last four. She'll play fellow American Emma Navarro in the semis after she beat Croatia's Petra Matic earlier. And former New Zealand international Jan Shirley and Canada's Kelly McKedahan have won the women's pair's National Bowls title in Christchurch. Shirley and McKedahan winning the final 15-13 in rainy conditions at the Burnside Bowling Club. Shirley says she's thrilled. I feel a little bit shaky, but I'm absolutely delighted to be able to get here and play and um, play the final and win with my mate. So, absolutely awesome. And that's sport. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.